Hey guys, Tom Mo back again. Welcome to day 25 in the life of the Galaxy S23. And just for fun, I'm shooting this video on the OnePlus 11 camera so you guys can see what the quality looks like. I was debating on doing daily videos for the OnePlus 11. Doesn't seem like there was a lot of interest for that, so I'll stick with the Galaxy S23 for now. I'm going to be talking about seven reasons why you should be getting the Galaxy S23 over the S22. So right now when Samsung released the Galaxy S23 at $800 along with the Plus and the Ultra at $1,000 and $1,200, they did also leave the Galaxy S22 on sale and they lowered the price to $700. So they knocked off $100 since the launch price of last year. So even though on the surface you have to pay $100 more for the S23, but I think it is worth it. First reason why you're getting a new design. Some people like the camera module on the S22 last year. I personally did not. I felt like it was sharp and every time when I use it, my index finger would rub against the edges and it does get annoying after a while. This is a much cleaner look. It is, the whole series looks exactly the same compared to last year. Only the S22 and Plus have that camera module and the Ultra did not. So now it looks the same throughout. Nice clean lineup. So I do appreciate that design there. Some people may think it look plain, but I personally do like the nice clean look. And since this phone is newer, you do get an extra year of support. Both phones do offer four years of software updates and five years of security updates. And as for software updates, you will get support up to 2027 with the S23. And with the S22, since it is a year older, you're only going to get support up to 2026. And with the S23, you're seeing a major improvement with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chip. It is a significant improvement over any prior generation. Something that's unique with this chip is Samsung is using the same chip worldwide, so everyone's getting the same exact thing. And it's super powerful compared to any of the other chips I have used in the past, resulting in longer battery. On average, I get about 12 hours with this phone, so it lasts me more than a full workday, compared to roughly 8 hours on the S22, where I would need to charge it through half a day of work. And the S23 is the first phone that I was able to make it through a whole full day, which is pretty rare. I've never experienced that on any Android phone. So depending on your usage style, you can get anywhere from 26 hours of battery life to 9 hours of battery life, depending on if you are a heavy user or a light user. I counted all the hours throughout the last 24 days and my average came out to about 12 hours. Your mileage may vary. And part of the reason for that is Samsung did bump up the battery a little bit from 3700 to 3900 and that along with the new chip resulted in much better performance along with battery life. Peak brightness, you're getting a bump here as well. It is 750 nits and the same as is bigger but it is the S23 Plus and the Ultra. Compared to last year, the S22 peak brightness was only at 1300 nits. And last but not least, the main camera is basically the same setup but the front selfie camera you do get a small bump from 10 megapixel to 12 megapixel. So those are all seven reasons why you should be getting the Galaxy S23 over the S22. I know some people may be tempted to save the extra 100 bucks, but I would spend the extra $100 just to get all those improvements. But if you already have the S22, I would just stick with it. It's not worth upgrading to the S23 one year later. All right, let me know if you guys think that was helpful. Now I'm gonna jump quickly into day 25 with this phone. Day 25 began roughly at 7 a.m. or so. Didn't really do much in the morning, just work. Got on a call with IT, figure out some computer stuff because I was having login issues. By 12.30, my phone was at 71%. Then I went to grab lunch. Super busy day at work, didn't really do much running around. I did manage to exercise a little bit in the morning and then pretty much heads down all day in meeting trying to get work done. It wasn't until 4.52 p.m. end of day was able to get another chance to take a break. Phone is at 35%. So throughout the day, I just had it in the background playing music, walking up and down the stairs, doing a little bit of Pokemon Go. But pretty light usage day during the first half. And in the evening, got in the car to go for dinner. This video is shot on the OnePlus 11. I actually noticed that the color overall is on the pale side. So the video doesn't look as good as the S cameras that I'm usually recording on. And for dinner, I went to restaurant restaurant week, took a picture of the menu, noticed there on top the red root Chris text is a little blurred out. Some people were saying with the biggest sensor this is normal. I don't know, my argument is we shouldn't be accepting <laughs> these uh, 
photo quality. I don't know too much about the technical details, but at the end of the day, as a regular user, all I want to know is if I snap a picture, is it going to look good or not? Whether it's the norm or not, or the sensor is too big, just put a smaller sensor in there. If I'm not getting the perfect photo and there are obvious flaws, I think it's something that should be addressed. One of the biggest downsides of the S23 that I have been harping on, and with the S23 Ultra, I wasn't getting the same issue. I'm not sure why this little out of focus issue is constantly happening on the S23. I know there are videos and people talking of depth sensor and everything like that. It sounds like it's a hardware problem, but at the end of the day, it is results in less than ideal photos so that's my two cents on that sent the snapchat to my friends video looks fine took a picture of my salad For some reason this picture turned out awful maybe due to the poor lighting but hey not every picture is gonna be perfect right this one looks a little bit better steak looks fine the mash at the top is a bit out of focus 7:40 p.m. phone is at 32 percent came across an article that the S23 is slightly discounted, $50 off if you get the regular S23 and a small discount on all the other variant as well. So just another example of you wait a little bit, even if you do not do the pre-orders, there's always sales coming up for Samsung phone, which is all Android phones in general, they don't really hold their value that well. As you can see, even in the super expensive Z Fold 4 that initially released at $1,800, not even a year later, they're already knocking a few hundred bucks off that. Then we got some dessert and at night went for a Costco run. I'm not sure why the quality looks absolutely terrible with the night video. Looks like it's flickering a little bit. Then finally made my way back home 10 p.m. at night. Phone is at about 21%. Just gonna leave it on the nightstand, not charge it at all and resume in the morning. All right, it is now morning, 6.27 a.m. Woke up, phone is at 3%, so it did make it through the night, basically dead. Only three hours and 10 minutes of screen on time because I spent most of the day working, but overall you're getting 22 hours of battery life, so that's another full day battery life experience on this phone. Play Pokemon Go for close to an hour, always on display, taking up a good chunk of battery as well. I know there are some people that are gonna ask me what happened if I turn off always on display. I did turn it off before. I think you get an extra half an hour to an hour, but it's not that big a deal. I like the always on display, so I prefer to have it on. But if you do want to save more battery, feel free to turn that off. But there you have it. This wraps up day 25 in the life of the Galaxy S23. I will be doing my four weeks review on day 28 and continue on with this series. Please check out day 24 if you haven't already. Let me know what your experience has been so far. Well, if you have any questions between the S23 and the S22 or the S23 Ultra, any questions about that and which phone you should choose, just let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and see you guys in the next video.